Welcome back, Art From Home. This week is all things Mother's Day. So we have a printable template on my classroom webpage that you can go visit and download, okay? It has little cupcakes and two little tags that says, Mom, you're sweet. So we're gonna jump in and make this. If you don't have a printer at home or you're running out of ink, you can totally make this on your own. So I'm gonna give these, because it'll make two, to my kiddos. You guys are gonna color those, but I'm just gonna grab a blank sheet and draw my own because you guys are all little artists. You can do this on your own without a template even as well. So I'm gonna take a sheet of construction paper or printer paper and fold it in half. You guys just color those and cut them out. And I'm gonna draw with a dark crayon so you guys can see what I'm doing. So if you don't have the printer, no big deal. All we're gonna do is make a sweet card for mom and we're gonna use the idea of a cupcake. So at the top, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room. At the bottom, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room and I'm gonna focus more at the very center so that I have room to add my drawing when I start working here. Oh, you guys are already doing a good job. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is my cherry on the top of my cupcake, or maybe you wanna add sprinkles. So that's fine too, you can skip this one. But I'm gonna add a little circle that's got a little divot in the top. Looks like a little cherry. I put it to the side a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some frosting. And you could draw this a bunch of different ways, but I'm gonna make mine look like it's at an angle and almost like it came out like a swirl, okay? All right, so I've got nice whip topping. If you look at the printable, it has it really nice and rounded, almost like the way that we draw uh, clouds a lot of times, okay? The bottom, you're gonna want it to be at an angle, just like a cupcake liner. See how they come in at the sides? At a diagonal line, okay? They're not vertical. And straight up and down, they move at an angle, and that's called diagonal. So we're gonna draw those diagonal lines under our frosting, okay? And that's gonna give us the borders for our cupcake liner. And then something really cool about cupcake liners is they are pleated. So you can see they've got these little lines, those little ribs in them. So I'm gonna draw those on my cupcake liner here. And that's something you guys could add to the printable also if you want to. See how they look bumpy because of the visual texture? Okay, so vertical lines in the center, as they move to the side, they're gonna become more of a diagonal. After the vertical in the middle, when they go to the right side, they're gonna go to a diagonal again. So straight vertical line, okay? Then to both sides, they keep going at diagonals to give us the illusion that this cupcake liner moves around an actual cupcake. All right, you guys, so this will give you your start for your cupcake. On the printable, it has a little gift tag that says, Mom, you're sweet. It doesn't say it like that. That's how I talk. So you're going to draw that on here as well. Or... If you have extra construction paper at home, you could draw it on a different color, cut it out and add it to it. So I'll draw this one. And don't waste your paper, don't draw right in the middle. Draw over here on the edge so that when you cut, you still have all the rest of this paper you could use for another project. So I will draw this little tag so that it stands out on my project. All right, guys. See how I drew it along the edges? So we've got vertical lines. The only thing that changes is we cut off these little corners to make it look more like a gift tag, okay? So I'm gonna cut that little guy out and you guys are gonna be ready to decorate this any way you want. So we've got our gift tag. If you have a hole punch at home, you could actually hole punch it and Yep, you guys can cut yours out and add ribbon to it also. So if you have some other supplies at home, you can get really creative adding other details to it. But the big idea is that you're going to have a cute little gift card for mom that you made 
that says, Mom, you're sweet. So we'll finish these up, show you the final project, and don't forget, I've got the preview on my web page. All right, guys, so we all three have ours done. They're all a little bit different. So I left mine just a colored card. I put my tag up here, even cut a little piece of ribbon and stapled it. The inside is like a card that you could write any message you want to. And if mom wanted to, she could even cut this off then and put this in a frame or keep it as a card and see your artwork. What'd you guys make? I tried to make my cupcake 3D and then my little uh, card, it can move around. All right, can I show them up close? All right, so she did 3D. You can see the things pop off of her card. That was awesome. Good job. All right, what you got? I had a yellow heart and then I just see there's part of a bunny's butt. <laughs> <laughs> but you took that from what? And then, uh, I took that from, where is it? Right here. It's a bunny and then. So it's an actual things. cupcake liner. So this is something you can do too is run around at home. See if you have any cupcake liners, and you could use that instead of coloring the bottom. And then uh, my cream or whatever you call that thing. Frosting. Uh, frosting. Uh, I layered it with different colors, as I think you can see. Good job. All right, you guys, I hope you have fun. Don't forget the downloadable parts. Let me show you yourself again. The downloadable parts here are on my classroom webpage, okay? All right, have fun.